See the knife slides under, just under there. Don't want to waste any of that beautiful fish. Just want to make sure that we get rid of the things that we don't really like to eat. And that's it. Perfectly prepared monkfish fillets. And we are gonna lay out the pancetta. Extra thin, extra fine sliced pancetta. But always look for the bits that has more meat than fat. Because we're really gonna need it to stick around the monkfish. And we're gonna be making beautiful layers of the pancetta. It's going to be easiest when it comes from the fridge because pancetta has a tendency to be really soft because there's such a high fat content on them so we keep them in the fridge until just before laying out to make sure that it's easy to handle and then we're going to be placing the monkfish on top we're going to season it a little bit we're going to put some leaves of sage inside there it's going to give it a beautiful flavor and a beautiful color as well. Until we have the really nice long layer of pancetta slices. Stunning. Now we will season our monkfish. A little bit on the top. Nicely seasoned on the bottom. And we're gonna place that right on top. I'm gonna add a few sage leaves. Just make a little line all the way across the back of that monkfish fillet. That's about just right. And with your knife, I can fold over the pancetta all the way till there. Make sure this is a nice and tight roll. Want to push back the fillet a little bit so it fills up exactly where the pancetta is. And then we roll it over. Just like that. Trim the little extras. We can leave the top and the bottom. We're gonna cut the monkfish fillet in half. A little bit easier, then later it fits in the pan and it's easier to handle. So you put your two pieces on a tray. We're going to put it in the fridge, let it set really nicely and we're ready to go. Gentle, not too much heat. You feel it go in, it's sizzling, but it's not smoking, it's not fiery, it's not heavy, it's not harsh to fire and we really don't want that because we want that, that fish to cook gently and slowly so it retains all the moisture inside. So it's gonna be really, really nice and juicy when we bite into it. And monkfish really has that ability that when you bite and the juices flow in your mouth, it's so delicious. The pancetta is gonna make sure that all of that stays in the pan, make sure that all of that stays inside the fish and then once you carve into it in your plate, Wow, absolute heaven. Reduce the heat a little bit. Now, slowly cooking on all the sides, giving it a turn, making sure none of it burns, making sure that the pancetta gets really nice and crisp on all the sides. Absolutely gorgeous, nice and roasted. Opens up a tiny bit, doesn't really matter, that is fine. Manchetta sometimes curls up, that's no problem. Now this is beautifully roasted. Gonna add a little touch of butter. And get a few sage leaves. We're gonna be adding that to the pan just before the end. How gorgeous that is roasting. All the way 
fly over the monkfish. Sage leaves. It's gonna give all that aroma into the butter. Wonderful. We'll turn off the heat, let it slowly raise into the, into the monkfish and cook it very gently. We'll finish it off in the oven just before serve. And when you cut into this, you can already feel it. It is melting in the mouth like butter. Absolutely gorgeous. Perfectly cooked all the way through in the pancetta.